WPGET Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. Hey guys, just a quick one today. Just want to talk about these uh, Elementor JavaScript hooks. Uh, so quite often you want to interact with components or you might want to create a swiper um, or use some of the built-in uh, Elementor utils, uh, JavaScript utils, and uh, you go over to the developer documents over here on Elementor.com and look at the JS hooks. And there's information here on some of the hooks that are available, um, how to use them. Uh, but if you do basically what they say here, it will not work. It just throws errors because the objects have not been initialized yet. So one of the common things that I would see is they would say, just add this um, front end hook here. So the action of Elementor front end in it. Um, that does not exist at the document load, so that's a problem. Uh, so what I discovered was uh, if we look at a bit of code here, there we go. So what I found is that this element or front end in it hook runs before Elementor initializes a lot of its components. So I'll show you what I mean here. If I look at the actual Elementor code, uh, here's my Elementor front end uh, init hook being thrown by Elementor. So it's in the init function of frontend.js. And then after this has been dispatched, it then initializes the modules, initializes the on-ready elements, and initializes the on-ready components. So things like, for example, here, if I have a look at this uh, on-ready components, and just search up the code here, there it is there. So the utils, YouTube, Vimeo, base video loader, anchors. Uh, so if you want to access the, um, you know, the scroll, uh, on hatch, click, things like that. Um, if you want to access that, you this needs to be initialized. Uh, Swiper, the environment, uh, assets loader, escape HTML, uh, all this sort of stuff here has not been initialized um, when this runs. So what I found was that if we go back up here, uh, once it has done this last on ready components, now there could be other things that I'm not seeing here that uh, this might be doing, which may make this a little bit um, um, uh, not useful in every situation. But after it's done all this, if you're in the edit, it'll run this um, document loaded uh, once. Um, and if it is not in the editor, it'll run the on document loaded. So let's have a look at on document loaded. And go down there. So on document loaded um, triggers a component colon in it or components colon in it. So what I've done here is looked at okay, so if I wait for the elemental front end in it, and then the elemental front end object is available, and then I add a listener for components in it, then all of these. Um, things up here are going to be initialized. So up here, all the stuff here is going to be initialized and I'm going to be able to access those. So I wish they would have stuck that in the documents because I spent a bit of time trying to figure this out, searching through their code, to find out how on earth I'm going to make this work. So I'm trying to access utils, trying to access swiper and just getting a undefined error uh, after the initialize. And I would have thought the initialize would be thrown after it's initialized, or maybe you have two different events, maybe pre in it and post in it, uh, but that's not how it's been done. Uh, but this, this still does the job. So the alternative that I've seen people doing is they might add a here, they might wait for this to, um, to run and then they might do a set timeout, uh, the function, uh, and then maybe they'll set a timeout for say 300 milliseconds. So what that's going to do is once this is run, it waits for 300 milliseconds. So it pushes this execution down the JavaScript execution timeline and then runs the code. Um, I think you can do that if you want to, but I think this is probably a better way if you're actually listening for an event that is actually thrown when everything has been initialized. So at this point here, I can access the utils, I can access the YouTube player, I can access Swiper, I can access the 
anchors um, class uh, because all those components have actually initialized. So I think there's a better way of doing it. I wish Elementor would be a little bit more um, forthcoming in their documentation on this, uh, but um, now we have the answer, so hopefully that's going to help uh, in the future. All right, so hopefully that's going to be useful for somebody.